go to guest weather at the Jenny Wiley Festival in Prestonsburg. Sponsored by the Jenny Wiley Festival Committee. I'm down here at the Jenny Wiley Festival. We're having wonderfully beautiful weather today. It's going to be a very sunny day today. You can play games today. It is a beautiful day out here at the festival and you all should come down and join us and have some fun. We're going to have a float in this year and it's going to be the Smurfs. I want to invite you all to come out and enjoy this festival. It's a beautiful day, great music, fabulous food. Come on down. It's a beautiful sunny day in, at the Dini Rai Festival. It's been a beautiful day. That's pretty much been the general agreement among everyone at the festival. The weather here has been perfect, a little bit warm, but all in all, I mean, not a single cloud in the sky, and I've been looking at it pretty much all afternoon long. Haven't seen a single cloud all day. Now, temperatures have made their way into the lower 80s across eastern Kentucky, and the Cumberland Valley especially warmed up a little bit more, but in the big sandy temperatures topping out in the upper 70s generally. Now, as far as pinpoint Doppler goes, nice clean sweeps on the radar, so rain-free radar, we can enjoy that for the next couple of hours and satellite and radar. I mentioned not a single cloud, and that's exactly what you're seeing on satellite and radar. Now, the big picture, there is an area of high pressure just to our east sitting over uh, New York, and that is what's responsible for our clear skies. Now, eventually, we are going to be tapping into some moisture from a system that's out to our west, and that's going to move through this weekend, but tonight, mild night, temperatures dropping down into the mid 50s. We are going to see some patchy fog developing throughout those overnight hours and especially near dawn tomorrow morning. Otherwise, your Friday looking gorgeous with temperatures sitting in the 70s later tonight around 7 o'clock. And then for the rest of Friday, temperatures sitting in the 50s in the morning and then by 3 o'clock, we're going to be sitting in the lower 80s. So another warm day for tomorrow, but then that system gets into gear, starts moving closer to eastern Kentucky, and that's when we start to see our rain chances increase. And we could even see a few showers by tomorrow afternoon, but for the most part, eastern Kentucky staying dry. But some folks in the Big Sandy could see a couple of showers throughout the afternoon hours. Otherwise, we'll stay dry throughout the overnight Friday. Heading into your Saturday morning, though, that's when we're going to start to see some of those showers developing again early Saturday morning as that cold front moves closer and closer to the coal fields and we'll see that cold front pushing through throughout Saturday evening as well. Start to dry out Saturday and that's really going to cool us off, but not tomorrow. We're going to stay warm again. If you're planning on heading out to the Jenny Wiley Festival, temperatures are going to be in the lower 80s by the afternoon and a very similar situation in Barberville. If you're heading out to the Daniel Boone Fest, well, it's going to be another warm one by the afternoon hours. Sky staying mostly clear throughout the day. We have less of a chance of seeing some rain throughout the Cumberland Valley than we do in the Big Sandy. Now, in the next seven days, those rain chances go up for your Saturday. Temperatures go down, though. We're looking at highs top out in the lower 70s for Saturday and then on Sunday temperatures not even making it into the 70s only topping out in the upper 60s and then for the rest of the week looking pretty nice and clear with temperatures staying fairly mild a little bit above average by this time next week otherwise we're going to stay nice and clear but Steve I don't know if you remember this time last year we were dealing with rain at the festival so I will take this weather over that mm -hmm. any day and certainly we'll take this weather over what they're dealing with in Florida too Allison thank yes. you very much